Hello everyone, you are welcome to the GMAT 41's YouTube channel. My name is Engineer Omaka and in this video I'll be teaching you how you can determine the divergence of a vector value function. I've got this question on the board which I will use to teach you this. Interestingly, just know that this is a simple process to carry out. We are given this vector value function. How do we know that it's a vector? You can see the unit vector i, j, k, all right? And so we are required to uh, determine the vector value function, to determine the divergence of this vector value function at the point 1, 1. Now to do this, all we have to do is simply to take the partial derivative of the component of the vector with respect to the variable defining this component. Wow, this is grammar. What do we mean by this? I'm going to write this on the board. What we mean by taking the partial derivative of the component with respect to the variable defining them. Remember generally, if I give you maybe a three-dimensional vector, you may have it as xi plus yj plus zk. So it means we'll be taking the partial derivative of the component with respect to x. Again, with respect to y, with respect to what? z, respecting the component. All right, so let's move straight to our work. Um, we are given the function Okay, so permit me, this component, permit me to use f1 to represent it, and then this, f2, and this, f3. And so the divergence of this vector value function will simply be given as partial derivative with respect to x of this component, f1. Remember that this Unit vector i defines x axis. Is that so? And that's the reason why we are differentiating this component partially with respect to x. Then add it to partial derivative this time around with respect to y of f2 component. Why are we taking the partial derivative with respect to y this time around? Simply because the unit vector j defines y axis for us. And then finally, in the same way, we have partial derivative with respect to z of f3 which is uh, the third component you can see k there telling us that this would be partially differentiated with respect to z because k defines z axis the rest is just theory a good knowledge of differentiation will help you to pull through in this all right let us proceed i'm going to differentiate partially with respect to x this component for x squared y when in doing this 4y will be kept constant this is going to give us, differentiate this x, it's going to give us 8xy, good. And then move on to the next term, partial derivative of f2 with respect to y. Don't forget that we have negative here, so even if I put my addition here, and then differentiate this partial with respect to y, this minus 3x will be constant, differentiate y, you get 1, 1 times the minus 3x will give us minus 3x. And then plus, finally, I'll take the partial derivative of 7z squared with respect to z. And that's going to give me 14z. This is the same as 8xy minus 3x plus 14z. This is the divergence of the vector value function f, which depends on x, y, and z. But come back to this question once again. We are asked to find this divergence at the point 1, 1, 1. So what does that mean? Simply move to this divergence function you've obtained. You know, this becomes a scalar because there's no i, j, k anymore. Don't ask why, okay? Just take note that if you take the divergence of a vector value function, it produces a scalar. So uh, the divergence of the vector value function f, which depends on x, y, z. These are the values of x, y, z. Are you following right? So it's going to be at the point 1, 1, 1. This will be equal to 8. Wherever I see x, y, and z, I'll fix the value, the value of the point given, 1, 1, 1. So this is going to be 8 times 1 times 1, minus 3 times 1, plus 14 times 1. 
And if we simplify this, 8 times 1 times 1 is 8, minus 3 times 1 is 3, 8 minus 3 is 5. 14 times 1 is 14, plus 5 gives us 19. Therefore, the divergence of this vector valid function at this given point is equal to 19. The correct option is A. I hope you learned something from this short video lesson teaching you how you can obtain the divergence of a vector valid function. Please like and subscribe to my channel, GMAT41. Share the videos, you can leave your comments. If you have a question, feel free to drop the question below the comment section and I will be there to respond. Invite your friends to subscribe to GMAT41's YouTube channel as well too. You have so much to learn from this channel. See you next time, where I'll be taking you on how to obtain the curve of a vector value function.